Thank you, Dean Delaney. Good morning, and thank you to the dedicated families, friends, faculty, staff, and all the wonderful mothers on their special day. You're the reason we made it to this point. Thank you to all my family and friends that have helped me get here, especially my mom. Happy Mother's Day, and I'm sorry I lied to you about giving this speech. <laughs> and to my dad, who couldn't end up making it here today. Because of all those who have loved and supported us, we collectively made it through four years of hard work, long nights of decision making, and all the failures and successes that come with being in college. My fellow students, I want to commend all of us for our accomplishment. Through our vision, persistence, and resilience, we've succeeded. And yet, I can confidently say I'm standing here because for me, this wasn't always the case. In fact, I, like most of us, have experienced something nobody likes to talk about, failure. In a way, my university experience has been defined by it. For example, after dedicating a year and a half to my startup, Fly Calendars, with professors White and Bellows in the AU Incubator, I decided to leave it all and call it quits. When I walked away, I felt like I had failed myself. And no matter how hard I wanted, how much I wanted it to be successful, the hardest part was knowing I was working on something that was no longer my dream. Although walking away was one of the hardest things I had to do, it taught me a lesson I'd never forget. Failure is essential in the pursuit of our dreams. In fact, failing forward helps us become stronger by learning and growing in ways we never imagined. Yet, why is failing still so hard? See, most of us carry a dissonance within us, battling the tension between the person we believe we should be and the person we are. We hold ourselves to impossible expectations, often spending our lives checking off boxes we hope will lead to success. Even as business majors, we face several judgments and misconceptions about who we are. No, we don't all study finance, and no, we don't sleep in a suit every night, only when we don't do laundry. In all seriousness, it's difficult to avoid idealizing perfection when perception of landing on Forbes 30 under, 30 under 30 are thrown at us daily. Like many, I felt like a failure because I had not achieved crazy success. It was this mindset that led me to realize I lost sight of why I originally started. For the first time, I had to ask myself, am I pursuing my dreams for the right reasons? The reality is, failing forward is about learning the necessary skills and resilience to reach bigger destinations than we ever conceived, and to value the process and those we meet along the way. I didn't know it at the time, but my venture gave me an indispensable opportunity to meet friends, make professional connections, and learn what I'm truly passionate about. When we fail, we gain the chance to learn from others and adopt new perspectives. It allows us the insight needed to get back up dust ourselves off, and rethink our approach. These new insights may even lead us to realize the most important point of it all. It was never just about succeeding. It's about finding purpose, even if it means walking away from everything you thought you were looking for. If there's anything I've learned throughout college, it's that we're gathering. Gathering experiences through our classes and internships. Successes like getting an A on that project you worked so hard on. And of course, failures like every group project we all dreaded. These experiences influence our perception, mold our voice, make us unique and valuable. Through gathering experiences, we use what we've learned to change lives and change the world. As I've continued to grow, I've learned true success begins when you part from the picture of who you should be, because that person doesn't exist. Through our triumphs and struggles, you are constantly creating your own unique version of success. The reality is, the only way you can fail is to idly stand by, too fearful to define your own path. Remember, this is your story, and you're the author. I couldn't say it better than J.K. Rowling did in her 2008 Harvard commencement speech. It is impossible to live without failing at something, unless you live so cautiously that you might as well not have lived at all, in which case, you failed by default. We're entering an environment characterized by political unrest, 
partisanship, and inequality. While we find solutions, we will most likely at some point experience failure. However, staying stagnant is not an option. We must use what we've learned to bounce back, be bold and innovative, fearless in our attempts to bring about the change we desire. I challenge all of you to continue failing forward to create the wild success we've dreamt of. And if you ever find yourself discouraged along the way, just remember the wise words of Thomas Edison. I have not failed. I've just found 10,000 ways that won't work. Thank you and congratulations, class of 2019.